What's going on folks? This is Suave and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about a game called Disney Larkana. This is actually a brand new trading card game with the Disney license and we're going to see what this is all about. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So this is going to be Disney Lorcana, the trading card game. Now, my first initial thought when I saw like this headline, I'm like, okay, Disney, very big IP, lots of different characters. Um, there's that, there's Disney, Star Wars, Marvel. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that Disney owns at this point now. So they can put a whole lot of different uh, IPs that they own into this one card game. Um, it is a trading card game, so that means that there's going to be some collectability in getting some rarer cards, some beautiful artwork. So it's going to appeal to not just gamers, but also Disney collectors. And I'm sure there's a lot of Disney collectors all over the world. So this could potentially be a pretty, pretty big demanding game. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. So first off, it is designed by Ravensburger. Ravensburger is a pretty well-known game publisher. They've designed a few games, uh, one of them being Disney Villainous, which is actually a pretty popular game. Uh, I haven't played it myself, but I know that it's very highly regarded in the board game community. The basic idea, what they're saying here in the article, the basic idea is that there's this place called the Great Illuminary. Uh, it's a treasury of all Disney songs and stories ever made. And so the players take on the role of an Illumineer. So we're supposed to be Illumineers, this powerful sorcerer that has the ability to bring these characters to life off the page. So we're basically going to be using all these different Disney characters and doing, doing battle or whatever it is that they're going to be uh, spinning this as. And so the game will include a modern storybook art style. And it's going to be, um, a, it was inspired by the storybook openings of a classic Disney films and features visible line work and vibrant color washes. So my takeaway is that they're going to be taking some inspiration from that maybe like early 90s classic nostalgia artwork that they had for a lot of their Disney titles. And they're going to use their own kind of maybe like a modern spin to it. Um, I will have some examples uh, showing up here on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But I think that this game, not only is it going to appeal to a lot of people, but when if this artwork hits right, I think this is going to be appealing to a lot of people outside of just card game players. So it's a pretty short article. Let's go ahead and get through the, the rest of it. So it looks like they're going to be doing holographic with like an ink, sp ink spill or a star. So they're going to be doing a lot of different foiling treatments for the cards. It's pretty good to see. Uh, not wanting to see maybe just the same type of foiling that always gets boring. So it's good that they're changing it up. Um, this has the largest potential that that Ravensburger has ever gone after the largest investment that they've ever done into any type of project and initiative so they're going really big and investing a lot into this card game and they they kind of understand a little bit i don't like this company has never done a trading card game but it sounds like that they've done enough research to understand what it takes to be in the trading card game market and what it takes to stay in there and keep fans interested in buying your product. They do say that this effort is a multi-year series of releases. So they're already planning years ahead, a lot of different set releases. So we're gonna be seeing, um, I believe they mentioned somewhere here that we're gonna be seeing about four sets a year. So pretty much every three months, there's gonna be a new set with a whole bunch of new cards, a whole bunch of new stuff to collect. So that's gonna be pretty cool. It looks like that they're already talking about competing with like magic and pokemon and stuff it's really hard for a game company to just kind of come in and never do a trading card game before and come into the trading card game market and say they're gonna pretty much compete with magic and pokemon who are pretty much the highest selling uh, card games here in the in the west but at the same time disney is a really big ip uh, it's very known around the world and like I said if they hit the artwork really good on this if the mechanics make sense and it's still a pretty fun game it doesn't have to be um, the most mechanically complicated thing as long as it's very casual fun I think people are really gonna love this game and you can even see here um, they said that they're thinking of so if you think of chess as the highest confrontation level you can get we're a bunch of notches behind that because we want people to have fun so basically what they're saying is that this is not going to be something that's going to be 
complex to the mind mechanically. So you can't really think of this game as just being this strategic monster. It's just going to be maybe a casual. There'll probably be some good strategic depth, but it's going to be something that's going to be open to a lot of casual players of all ages. So that's a really good approach that they're doing, especially with the Disney license. And last but not least, it looks like fans will get their first look at the cards during D23 Expo in Anaheim, California. So hopefully right there next weekend on September 9th, we'll see what these cards are all about. Honestly, I'm intrigued enough to want to follow this game, see how it's going to look, how it's going to play, how it develops over time. So I will be covering this game on this channel. And then as things get developed, as we get more news, maybe when we see these cards next weekend, we'll be able to do a video on that showcasing what those cards look like maybe do some speculations here or there um i don't know if they'll actually show off any like game text or anything on the cards maybe they'll just show off the artwork that's what i'm assuming but who knows maybe we'll get surprised next weekend this is supposed to be launching fall of 2023 so we do have plenty of time before uh this thing launches we pretty much have a whole year before we see this uh landing anytime soon so if you're interested in keeping up to date with disney lorcana be sure to hit that like and subscribe we're going to be bringing more content like this in the near future so with that being said i will see you all next time bye everyone